little ugly bitch. Come on. Hello, all. Thomas here. Um, the year's almost over. We have survived. Woo. <laughs> Real quick before we begin, I just want to share some rewrite updates. If you haven't seen, I have released my teaser for the Wink Season 6 rewrite. It's the whole first episode, like with, um, you know, the narration and all the like images to go with it from like my blendering things. Really excited for you guys to see it and enjoy it. And after much deliberation on the release schedule, I have decided that I am not going to wait until all of the first half is done and then, you know, release that all at once. Instead, what I'm going to do is release two episodes at a time, trying to aim for either every month or twice a month. The idea is that like they'll just be released when they're ready and ideally they'll line up with that schedule. So that way you guys get like a regular stream of content. It's kind of like a the traditional release where it's, you know, a couple episodes at a time. That way it's also less weight off of my shoulders, less trying to perfect it over the course of months and months and months. It's been 84 years. So it'll be better for my mental health and my work schedule and also you guys won't have to wait as long and you get to enjoy it over a longer period of time. I imagine that you guys will be like, you know, tuning in like every couple weeks or so, just like waiting to see how I torment you next. <laughs> and then at the very end, once it's all done, I will compile all of the episodes into one big video that, you know, you can use for binging purposes or several large videos because I don't know, that final one might be like 10 hours long. If that sounds good to you, let me know. I was toying with the idea of one episode at a time, but like, even with standard 26 episodes, that would take way too fucking long. So we're just going to bunch the episodes together. So I'm now working on episode two and I'm going to release that when it's ready. And then after that, the, the pairs will start. So then it'll be like three and four and then five and six and uh, so on. I am like so excited to finally get this out to you guys. Like you, you have no idea. And there has also been like very useful feedback on the visuals for, you know, the project because I'm still new to Blender and I'm still trying to figure out the style. Anyhow, we are continuing our season five commentary. Uh, the, oh God, this episode title. Tricks, tricks. I- I'm gonna do a magic trick just for you, okay, ready? <clears throat> One, two, three. No, you know, the jokes are too easy. The jokes are far too easy to make. Allegedly. We're just, we're just gonna dive in. We're just gonna dive right the fuck in and pray. Darkened ways of twilight rain. Tame her mind and bring her pain. Oh, we're doing incantations now? Escucha las palabras de las brujas. Los secretos escondidos en la noche. I do kind of wish we had more incantations in general for more complex spells. I really, I'm a sucker for a good incantation. From the depths of primordial space, I summon a box with a frigid embrace. I feel bad for Daphne, like getting tormented by this loser villain. Ugh. Tell me how to get Cyrenex now, Daphne, or I'll let them tear your mind apart. Disgusting! They're really trying to ruin her cred. Death to all of them. Of course. Bloom. Oh, Lord. Again. A fucking again. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Same old fucking shit. It is my honor and my pleasure to declare the annual Windrider competition open. Okay, cool. Why is it at Althea? Because like in the first three seasons when we had these, you know, fun activities, they'd always be at Red Fountain because Red Fountain is great for this kind of stuff. They have a literal entire arena for this. The centerpiece of our new campus is our state-of-the-art stadium, which we've upgraded in the hopes of hosting the 2012 Magic Games. Ooh. It's a place where we'll create new memories for years to come. And we know it's modeled because like we saw Brandon at Red Fountain in another episode. I just, why is everything in Althea? Ready, go! Very interesting also that the Winks are here watching this when they have a whole quest they should be going on. Or has the Sirenix book just not told them what the next clue is? I don't understand the question and I won't respond to it. Which at this point is alarming because they'd only have like a week or so left, which, wow. 
what the fuck? So either they wasted time or the Sirenix book is trying to kill them. <laughs> My evil plans are all coming together. Come on, it's like riding a horse, bro. You never forget. I can't remember if I ever rode a horse. Why are we forcing him to do this? Okay, but like, he's not that person anymore. He can't... Just trust your instincts and you'll be fine. I don't think that's how that works. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. I, I don't think he would have any of those skills left over after losing his memory. I mean, yes, it's fiction, but like, um... Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey! Do we not hear the laughing? This does make me wish we had a Stormy and Flora rivalry. Because, you know, nature versus the forces of nature. Get up, you little ugly bitch! Come on! It's not funny, Kiko. What, does she think Kiko pushed her? You done lost your damn mind. When you get your damn mind, you call me. Mirror attack. Oh, poor Kiko. Admittedly, this is kind of funny and also kind of cool. I wish that Darcy used that spell more. Can you imagine having to fight an army of yourself? I am tired. Titanus is waiting. Shut up. <laughs> Where's Bloom? We need to get her to show herself right now. Will a musical number suffice? Show yourself, step into your power. And also, like, do you really think you could take Bloom? Like, really? Fucking idiot. The Sirenix book. This could be the clue for the third gem. I There's nothing to be afraid of. There is. That book is out to get you. Find the flower of the depths. Why didn't you tell us this at the end of the last mission? What the hell is wrong with this book? That's suspicious. That's weird. It answers only to courage. I guess it's a test of courage. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. If we don't find the gem of courage in the next three days, we'll lose our powers forever. Literally though, we got bigger problems than this competition. Oh, sky is up. I'm Kim, not... there's people that are dying. Wait, three days? Three days. Got that? Three days. Are you fucking kidding me? Three? How did we get down to three days? What the hell? So I am Confucian. I, have y'all been sitting on your asses just waiting for the Sirenix book to show up? Get your fucking ass up and work. I guess we'll have to make Bloom show up. It's really not that hard to spot her. Like, have you not seen the flaming red hair? Get your fucking ass up and work. Capture Bloom and bring her to us. Okay, the design of the lines is very cool, but like, they're not very threatening. Ma, there's a weird fucking straight cat outside. It looks looks like grandma to fucking thing. I'm just recalling, you know, when Darkar sent a giant demon dragon thing to Red Fountain. That's a lion dragon. Wait, but I thought they were extinct. I feel like this is supposed to be reminiscent of that, but like, it's not, mm, it's, it's not, it's not hidden. Okay, see, I'm appreciating at least that even though they're splitting up, everyone's getting a chance to transform and show off their magic, and I wish that was the standard. So that way all the harmonixes could get equal screen time. Not on my watch! Oh, hi, Murda. Still at Althea, I see. That's suspicious. That's weird. Griselda, get the girls into the main hall! Specialists, draw your weapons! I- this is so ridiculous. So wait, the specialists are allowed to fight off the monsters, but like... The fairies aren't? What happened to the fairies fighting alongside the Winx, like, all the time? The fairies of Ophia are, are capable of fighting to defend themselves, and if they aren't, then they're not really worthy of being fairies, because that's the point of being a fairy to begin with. Oh, I'm so tired, yeah. I would die. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he's terrible, Your Honor. He's really terrible. Her name confuses me. Daisy Ree. Like, I think it's spelled like Desiree, but it's pronounced Daisy Ree for some reason. Yeah, I think I renamed her to like Daisy Reed, and it was like a hyphen, and it was supposed to be a reference to like, you know, flowers. It made more sense to me than what her name is supposed to be. Only one more keeper, then I can enter the infinite ocean! Shut the fuck up! Someone! Then I can enter the infinite ocean! 
Allegedly. <laughs> also, like, stop hanging out on Andros. How many times do I have to fucking say it? Oh, she passed away? Oh. Mm. All right. Nice. Ew. Okay, see, the oceans of the magical universe are so pretty and varied. Like, the ocean of flowers, I love it so much. But I wish Tritanus would actually fight the Winx, because all he's do doing is, like, setting traps for the Winx, and it's just, it's not hidden the same. And it's also giving how convenient that he knows where they're going all the time, but he's not actually willing to fight them. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, what just- <gasps> to drive it not that i knew how and i oh i'll drive i'll drive in solaria they never let me drive anything they say i don't have a sense of direction i wonder what they mean a few moments later you almost got into an accident six times let layla drive let layla drive how wild could a flower be carnivorous they'll eat you oh <laughs> Oh, God, it's a Jumanji situation down there. Oh, hell no. It's so weird. There are certain worlds that, like, they explore, like, everywhere, and there are other worlds that they ignore. Lenfea seems to be a world that the writers really enjoy working with to an absurd degree. Elyris, my very favorite Selkie. Ugh, oh, do we have to do this every time? We can't find Daisy Ree. Who the hell is this bitch? We're afraid Tritanus may have attacked her. Will you use your magic? Can you imagine if she said no? Let the bitch die. <laughs> Will you use your magic? No. Ooh. Flora's like, but I could bond with her. And then they don't hear her and then they continue with their mission. I said no. You can kill all that right now. <sighs> <sighs> like at this moment, stop. I think this must be the most awkward bonding of them all. Ew. No. Stop it. Ooh, oh, that turn. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is that? See, this is why you have to be careful with puppet animation, especially if they're turning, because if, if the puppet is not properly set up, you get shit like that where things are not lining up and things are, like, layering over each other. Oh, God. She means carnivorous-er. Check. <laughs> I'm in danger. Hurry, girls, in here. <laughs> Useless, every single one of you. <laughs> Useless. I see they've all forgotten how to transform. No wonder they haven't graduated yet. Maybe they've given up. <laughs> Death to all of them. <laughs> are you kidding me? I. How dangerous are these lion creatures to where, like, they can't be defeated? What the fuck? And, like, the tricks just conjured them they're artifact creatures empowered by dark magic why don't they do this more regularly like can they turn any object into a lion of death what um shall anyway so i rule at wind riding remember i remember Okay, the Bloom and Sky moments are kind of cute in this episode, I must admit. Seeing them have to rebuild their relationship, it is kind of nice. I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. That worked? How did that work? I am confusion. Okay, whatever, all right, sure. Good enough. Look at that! Fuck you! Oh my god, Stella. Oh, Stella. <laughs> A carnivorous flower's got my foot! Twelve seconds later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it could have been one. I love Stella. The flower of the depths answers only to courage. Is there a story behind this flower, or no? I'm assuming no. Flora, wait! Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Oh, no! oh, oof. If only they had their fairy dust to, like, nullify the dark magic. No, I'll never get over that. Shining mirror! Smart move, Stella. It's rare I get to say that. <laughs> and of course, Flora gets grabbed because, of course, she does. A fucking game. Ugh. 
even in her own damn episode. The judges have decided to award prizes. Is there a cure for seasonal depression? First place for wind riding goes to Prince Sky. Boo, you stink! What the fuck were Bloom's eyes doing? What is that? I can't believe Bloom and Sky are actually kind of cute right now. What the fuck? I will admit, this episode is actually not that bad. I'm actually kind of engaged in the plots. I do feel like the Alfia plot is getting a bit more to work with than this plot. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess shooting it in the face works. Remember, children, if you want to solve a problem, blast it in the face with a swirl of magic. I thought violence would be the answer. It works every time. It's moving in a pattern. It's trying to talk to us. Yeah, but what's it saying? It's dancing. The flower is the dancing queen. You can dance, you can dance. We need a translator. Of course, Sirenix box. Flora, you, you're a. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do? Flora, you are an expert of like all plants shouldn't you know what i'm saying you have several spells that let you communicate with the nature around you was nature's symphony not an option right now nature's symphony that sound it, it's like music it's the voice of nature sure let the discount genie tell you what it is what <gasps> oh come on the sirenix book will reveal the final clue but only at the worst possible moment Damn, okay, well, oh! Hey God, oh fuck, oh, that was more violent than I expected. Oh, holy shit. Oh, fuck. I thought violence would be the answer. How are they alive? Trauma. Trauma. PTSD. Trauma. Generational trauma. Trauma. Oh, poor little prince hit his head. Again. And now he's even more clueless than ever. Oh, damn. Oh, rude. Don't be Don't fucking do rude. Are you kidding me? I will say, I find it very odd that, like, Sky fell a long way and lost his memory. But he and Bloom fall again. And they're fine? What are the rules? That's not how it works. What is, like, the, uh, the number of feet needed to fall before you get amnesia? Yo, do get. <sighs> oh, ooh, that girl's got a concussion. Ah! Concussion. I don't know how Sky doesn't have one, but you know, I am kind of annoyed that Bloom can't fight back. Like, I get it; she's exhausted, but come on. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I take it back. All right, they got to save each other. I like that. The only thing you're gonna grab is the dirt. <laughs> okay, this entrance though, that was everything. Pushing the tricks around like the losers they are. Oh yeah, well. <gasps> or they might grab some rock face. Damn right. One of the few moments of the season where I'm fully invested. I will have no other choice but to collect your soul in retribution. Muse is like, I'm going to end this woman's whole career. <laughs> Dancing Whirl! I wish we saw more of Dancing Whirl. It kind of looks like fancy fall vortex. No! I'm about to end this man's whole career. No, <laughs> Poor Musa. She gets to like look cool, but Darcy's like, no, I refuse. I will push you. Rude. Don't be fucking rude. Are you kidding me? Electric chair. Dazzling spiral! Storm Wow, Stormy just let herself get hit. <laughs> Good thing she told us, otherwise I would have just stood there till I'd finally get hit. Okay, Icy throwing her shield like a discus, amazing. Ice attack! But Aisha slamming Icy into the cliff? Mystic trap! <gasps> get up, you little ugly bitch! Come on! God bless. I can't help but notice they were pointing in a different direction from Bloom. We'll be back for you, Bloom. Count on it! <sighs> and Bloom's like, bitch, I'm over here. How do you keep missing me? Where's Bloom? What if I don't ever remember Bloom? You know, that scares me. But I'm willing to let the past be the past. 
Oh my god, they're actually talking about it. Wow. And what's the third? Three days. Got that? Three days. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is actually really cute and really mature on Bloom's part. Let's stop trying to remember the past and make our future together. Like, we can make new memories, it's fine. Oh, this is actually really cute. It's rare they get a moment like this. There's only one more test! And it's on your world, bitch, so let's get a move on. Let's not put this off another day, let's go right now. Let's go now. Get your fucking ass up and work. NOT ON MY WATCH! Don't be mad. I hate it when you're mad. I am disgusted. I think he hates everything all the time. Ugh, gag me. Big mood. <laughs> gag me. A crush Bloom and her friends. Sky, the specialists, even her nasty little rabbit. Bunny burgers, anyone? How can I stay mad at you when you talk like that? Definition of toxic. I hate it. I see you are not threatening in the slightest, so good luck with that, girl. Okay, that episode was fine. It was fine. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I think my favorite part was that fight at the very end. And I'm surprised with how genuine the, the uh, moments between Bloom and Sky are. It actually is feeling a bit more mature on Bloom's part than usual, which I am very much appreciating. And I wish that there was more of it and that it carried through the whole season because I feel like this plot line is so much more interesting than what's coming in the second half. Oh, God. It's actually hard to even imagine how terrible things would soon become. I do wish Flora got more to do. Um, it felt like her little errand on Lin Fea was very obligatory. I'm still confused how she could not talk to the plant herself because she has like several spells to do that. She already used one this season. Flora, use your powers. The trees can tell us which way they went. Voice of the forest. I don't know. And yes, it's a test of courage, but like that didn't feel like a courageous act to me. What Flora did, it felt like very reckless abandon. Kind of like the self-confidence test where it's like, um, it doesn't really feel like the proper test. Oh, uh, whatever, whatever. Anyway, we move on to test of courage. I don't think Stella was entirely happy with their outfits. No one is happy with their dresses, Musa. No one. I am disgusted. The Cyrenics book! Where have you been? I don't understand the question, and I won't respond to it. I'm guessing you refuse to tell us until literally right now. The Yellow Reef? There are over a hundred Yellow Reefs in the Magic Dimension. Um, whose world is left? Domino. I, it's not that hard to figure out, girl. We need help. Cyrenics box. Think, use your brains. Each of your home worlds, one home world is left. The math is simple. Fucking idiot. But they're like two plus two must equal fish. <gasps> Domino! Bloom's home planet! Sky's bravery saved it. Idiots! This is so ridiculous. They should already know what it is. This this feels like such a wasteful scene. They should already know that it's on Domino. And also, like, why are Musa and Tecna hanging back? Like, why can't they all go to Domino? It's especially weird because, like, four winks are on a world instead of three. So it's like, at that point, just have the whole club. Why, why you gotta snub Musa and Tecna like this? Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Same old fucking shit. Oh god, the season five dresses. Get them out of my sight. My eyes! I don't mind the hair for the most part. Look all you want, just don't touch the hair. It's just the dresses are so basic and the flowers are hideous. You brought magic back here. I did. Sky is very funny though, like, I did? I, what? I, I did what? Ah, Secret of the Lost Kingdom. I have mixed feelings about you. On the one hand, you were the only movie with any real plot, but on the other hand, you were melodramatic as shit. He's so fearless. You take my hand and drive me head first, fearless. How many times are we gonna have this conflict? Same old fucking shit. My parents are waiting. I don't remember them either. That's fine, the writers hardly do. Allegedly. <laughs> they didn't in season four. Yeah, I'm still not over that. Like, Bloom revives her home world and then we just never talk about it. I know how to break her. I bet your parents will be all dressed up with nowhere to run. No! <laughs> okay, but Elizabeth Gillies is serving. Like, she is giving it her all. Maybe I'll see you there. 
I'm sure we won't try Tannis, because you never do anything important. Still not right. Stella! You've already made us change twice. These dresses are so basic. Like, they're such basic cuts, and they're all so uniform. Oh god, the fucking flowers. I hate it. Ew! Disgusting! <laughs> Oh, and they're all pink because of course they are. Oh no, Stella gets a unique color. Oh, Aisha's are now, but they were pink before, whatever. I hate it. See, I actually like Aisha in the shade of blue, but she deserves a better dress. Do I detect the Stella touch? Well, of course. How did Bloom already have the flowers if Stella only figured out the flower touch outside? Whatever, I give up, I don't care. I will say I like the design of Domino and like all its people. I like the guards. I like the purple vibe that's going on here. And I also like the shields with the great dragon on them. You guys are going to have to move fast. We'll back you up from here. Lies, lies, and more lies. I feel so bad for Musa and Tecna that they've been exiled. Now I'm in exile seeing you out. What? Why can't you come here and help us? You have weird teleport bubbles that you use all the time. Get your asses over here and help. Get your fucking ass up and work. If these four must be in ugly dresses, then so must the other two. Uh, thanks. I'll be back as soon as I can. Wow, she didn't even hug back. Okay. <laughs> I feel bad for Oratel and Miriam. I actually really liked um, the arc they had in the second movie where they had to like learn how to be parents to a child who was already an adult. That felt nice. Like they cared and loved about Bloom, but they were still trying to figure out like what their role in her life was gonna look like. But it feels like they just have no clue what to do with them here. They feel so cold to Bloom and I don't like it. So, I, what was that? Okay, James. The fucking pendant. Are you kidding me? The fucking pendant. Break it, break it in half right now. He's really terrible. This pendant has caused so many problems when it should not have existed in the first goddamn place. Maybe Flora will know what this is and who it belongs to. Because Flora knows everything about everything. Oh sure, leave the case behind. All right. You done lost your damn man. Serena? Serena? My name is Selena. I can we talk about the fact that her name is Serena and Bloom's ex bestie was Selena? That's suspicious. Missed opportunity. I did make a note of Bloom finding Serena's name familiar in the rewrite, and that's low key why. <laughs> yeah, no shit, Sherlock. The Selkies all look the damn same. Like they're all the same. Like the only difference are like the colors and the patterns that's it why are we even here why are we not all going to domino immediately like run for your goddamn lives we will all fight to keep you safe a few moments later <laughs> worthless every single one of you worthless <laughs> i feel good i'm glad someone does tritanus Pissed that it's you. Flashback. Only one more keeper, then I can enter the infinite ocean. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. Let's make sure nobody enjoys it. I just, I, y'all need to stop hanging out in the waters that Tritanus has access to. Idiots. I do like how yellow the, the, the waters of Domino look. It's like a weird cyan gold tint that's going on. Magic Wings! Harmonic! I would just like to state for the record that the Odyssey Explorer is currently stacked with Rainbow's favorites. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. This boy. Because, <laughs> um. like, we all know Bloom, Stella, and Flora are, like, the most popular Winks, and Aisha sometimes gets grouped in with them. But we can all agree that, like, as shitty as Flora and Aisha get treated, they at least get attention. Musa and Tecna tend to get neglected the most, especially Tecna. And I just, this this episode is reminding me of that fact. Like, why are they all not here? Tritanus has been here. Oh no. I, duh, I feel like y'all should just be able to predict this at this point because it keeps happening over and over and over and no one has learned anything. How does the gate to Domino still work? I thought Serena's powers were taken so the gate shouldn't be able to function. I give up. I give up. Oh, look. They're bloody. Oh, uh, shut up. When you think about fuck it. Up. Ugh, gag me. <laughs> gag me. Make it stop. 
Oh, not a close-up of the Selkie. Please, no. Oh my god! What is that? I have my powers again. <laughs> of course, Serena. I just, it's, mm, the, the, mm, it's so basic. You could do so, you, you. That's the pendant of Heracleon. It was Sky's gift for Bloom. Love how Bloom didn't hear that. We all owe a great debt to this brave young man. Oh, thanks. I actually do kind of like this little plot of Sky being celebrated for saving Domino, but he has to stand on his own to help fight the tricks. And it does get Oratel and Miriam to shine a bit, which is nice. <laughs> Tornado force! I swear to God, palace guards are useless. Useless. Dark chaos! <laughs> Darcy should use that spell more often, Jesus. Aw, oh, you've got nowhere to go. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> of the loser witches. Some of the rarest fish in the magic dimension live here. Okay, but the yellow reef is very pretty. Again, I just, I wish there was lore. I wish there was a story here, but there isn't. It's just a random place we're visiting. I feel like Domino especially should be filled with like stories about the great dragon and how it created the universe, like specific things that it created. Let's get out of here. Try swimming up, girls. That might help. Bloom, blast us out of here! Don't hurt the coral! No, hurt the coral. Hurt the coral. Lesson of the day, kitties. Kill trees to save our air. After all, trees cause global warming. And drugs. And teenage pregnancy. The more you know. We had pretty good fights in our day, Marion. We certainly did, Oratel. Still have it in you? Always. I really like them. I don't know, they're kind of giving me thrill seeker energy a little bit. Usually when I write them, Miriam is the one who's like a little bit more of a thrill seeker and then Oratel is like, kind of also, but he's mostly trying to impress Miriam and keep up. And he's also kind of terrified by <laughs> what an adrenaline junkie his wife is. <laughs> Why did we zoom in on Oratel's crap? Okay, whatever. All right, sure. All right. I'm having season six flashbacks to that one Egypt episode. But I'll say allegedly, even though I know what my eyes saw. It's <laughs> not good. It's just trying to defend itself. I mean, I suppose it would make sense that like on the home of the great dragon, even the fucking plants have dragon fangs. <laughs> Ew, does it have to make those noises? Find me a church. Fireblade! Fairy dust be damned. Fairy dust be damned. Just hit something in the face. Violence. You did it, Bloom. Way to go. <laughs> Yay! Bloom is best at woo woo. Oh, God. There it is. The gem of courage. Love how no one notices the giant jaws of death. Are you not seeing the teeth or the thing they're attached to? Are you blind? Did y'all not see the giant monster? I... What kind of idiots? <laughs> you little girls are nothing compared to your ancestors. I mean, Ortel's just speaking facts. Get up, you little ugly bitch. Come on. They care about each other. So let's make them pay for it. Oh, okay. That is actually a good strategy on the Trix's part. <laughs> Of course, Miriam is the one who is in danger and then Oratel has to save her and gets trapped in the process. It can never be the other way around. I just, I, mm, I get the Trix's strategy. It's just, I, are Oratel and Miriam really that dumb? No. Can you imagine if they all just started cheering and then when she got free, they're like, oh, thank God you're okay. <laughs> I will admit I do kind of like that. Like, that was pretty clever. It also kind of reminds me of when Musa got eaten by the turtle, except here it was on purpose. And also Musa was not here, which is a hate crime. Electric chair. The gem of courage. Boy, did you earn it. And I'm recalling that Bloom did not get her gem of the quest because she didn't satisfy the need. It was her fear of losing Sky that was holding her back, which then resulted in the Winx not being able to get Cyrenix initially. Our quest is over. No! My nefarious plans! Oh, no! Let them go! Or you'll 
what. No! Or he'll fall down, I guess. Very funny, Darcy. Ugh. God, I miss the four kids tricks. They would have so many good burns at their disposal. We have Daphne's parents here, but they're a little chillier than she might remember. <laughs> Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I see as me trying to laugh at my own jokes when I know they're not good. This feels like the most awkward Zoom call. I'll tell you what you want to know. Good work, I see. Hurry back. Why didn't she just tell them immediately? For all they know that when they get back, Daphne will refuse to speak again. It, it, no one is smart. No one's smart. And I realize I will always be fine as long as I have you. I feel the same way. You are that guy. I guess I am. Why are they actually really cute right now? I never pointed it out, but I love the swan statue. I would like one. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fuck you, Icy. I do want that sword, though, because it can shoot fucking energy beams? Hell yes. I want one. Ah! Oh, yeah! Stormy's like, I didn't say anything, and then she just gets hit. <laughs> Fuck you, Stormy. They're like, let's just make sure they're gone. Oop, another lightning bolt. <laughs> How are we going to restore your parents? Easy. We're going to do it together. No fairy dust, I assume. Okay, this is kind of cute, though, that they do it together. I will give them that. I would like to thank every useless guard in this establishment. Mom! Dad! Oh, now you hug her. Okay. I think this is yours. What is it? Oh, here we go. And then seeing the pendant cures his amnesia because that's how that works. I remember everything. I just- That's not how any of this works. Even like beyond the that's not how any of this works level, on a story level, it's just so stupid because like, why would you have this plot be only half the season? Why would it not be the whole season where this plot continues? And like at the very end, maybe then you can have Sky get his memories back, but- Having it be only half the season feels just so ridiculous and pointless. Well, that happened. The highlight of that episode really was the fight with Oratel and Miriam. I just... Why? Why cure Sky's amnesia right here? I... It doesn't... No. 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 Oh, God. And, like, as nice as it is that the quest does give the season a structure that I can follow, it, it makes it easier to sit through. But it also feels so obligatory and arbitrary like there's no real point to any of it none, none of the characters are really growing or learning new things about themselves or having to confront new aspects of like what they're going through they're just kind of going through a checklist of random shit that has nothing to do with them musa's episode of the sirenix quest wasn't really about her Stella and Aisha got more to do and even then they didn't really work through their problems they just randomly solved the problem. Tecna's episode wasn't really about her. Flora's episode wasn't really about her. Even Bloom's episode here like she didn't really learn much of anything. She already came to a secure place with herself and Skye and that didn't have anything to do with getting the gem either. That didn't affect it whatsoever. Stella's episode... She pulled a clever trick, yes, but it's so... The connection to self-confidence is so tenuous. It. My phone agrees with me that it was a bad move. <laughs> My phone agrees. My phone is spoken. The only one who feels like she's really confronted something to earn a gem is Aisha, and she didn't even get a gem for what she did. All it did was to give her a clue to lead her to a gem, which was Stella's gem. <laughs> I just, I don't, mm, I, no. No, just give them all gems and have a clue accompany each gem. That way each girl is kind of earning Sirenix individually, but it's more that she's proving she's worthy of it and then they all earn it together at the very end. I don't know, it's just like a structure like this is really great because it does provide you with a useful foundation for your story that's very palatable to audiences. And it also gives each girl an episode to like focus on her storyline and they just really haven't done that they really have not done that anyhow that's all i have to say so farewell until next time <laughs> when oh i just realized next time we're gonna lose harmonics forever and get stuck with cyrenics